Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is creating realism in a mix of virtual instruments. I'm going to show you how I went from something that sounds like this. to something that sounds like this. So going back to the start, I have this drum kit here and as you can see, it's not particularly appropriate for the genre. Uh, let's have a listen to it. So we have some very bright, crisp cymbal sounds and also this clicky bass drum, which is all wrong. So instead, I've got this smaller, jazzier kit in place with darker cymbals and a softer bass drum. much more like it. And I've also panned the drum kit off to the right. Um, it's a stereo kit, but I've used my balance controls to get the effects that I want. So I have a stereo kit, but it's slightly bunched over off to one side. So here's my piano and it's a stock instrument. Sounds like this. And it's not a million miles away from where I need to be. But although I'm liking the bright model within the instrument, um, that's giving me all the information that I need. Um, it's still a little bit bright. So I need to push this thing a little bit further back in terms of perspective. And I'm doing that with some EQ. So this is without and with. And as you can see, I've got a big dip in the middle as well, because I found that the sound was a little bit harsh there. Then I can tip the stereo balance over in a jazz trio style to the opposite side from the drums. And in context, we have our stereo picture. Now, these instruments are supposed to be playing together in a room. So what I've done is I'm using a common reverb plugin across my entire track. So you can see I've got three sends going into my room aux input, which has cinematic rooms across it at the moment. This is without and with. So this particular reverb gives me all of the realism and control that I need. And I have rolled off some of the bottom there just so that it can take the signal from the upright bass without creating too much mud down there. And the only other treatment I have on the bass is this EQ, which is helping to tame a resonance in the lower mids. Now live recordings can be with their imperfections, so I'm trying to dial some of that back in to mine. I'm using snare buzz from Waves Factory to give me a little bit of rattle on instruments, not just the drums, but also on the bass as well. So this is without and with. And if I take that out, all of a sudden it becomes a lot more like a VI in isolation. I'll just knock that back in. Really liking that, working very nicely indeed. So that is creating realism in a mix of VIs. To find out more about this technique, you can head over to the Production Experts blog where you can read our full article.